I thought I'd just share something that I've learned about stiffening felt hats, which I suppose you can apply to your existing commercial hat or work felt hats that you've made yourself. This is a black bowler that's in the video that's on YouTube. And it's nice to be able to, you need to make nice stiff felt anyway and form the shape properly, but it's nice to be able to give it, in the case of a bowler especially, some stiffness, but you also still want it to feel like a piece of felt. You don't want it to seem like it's been glued together. And the other advantage of the uh, stiffener is that you can then shape your brim if you want to using steam. So you can buy commercial felt stiffeners. Uh, there's a solvent based one you can buy, you have to buy that with the thinners. Um, I didn't get on with that too well. And then there's also some water based ones, or they're sold as environmentally friendly ones. And uh, essentially, I think they're like a PVA wood glue that's been thinned down. And uh, I didn't really like the finish that left on the hat. So, doing a bit of research, um, trip to the Stockport Hat Museum. Um, traditionally, hats were thin, uh, were stiffened with shellac. So, this is shellac that you would buy. So, French polish, you'll have heard of it called for polishing furniture, which is exactly what this is. This is uh, from a woodworking store uh, and is, is uh, for exactly that. So, the French polish. You would dissolve it in methylated spirits. And much as I love the smell of methylated spirits, every time you steam your hat, um, you get the smell of meths for a day or two. So, um, where can you buy an alternative source of alcohol? I hear you ask. And the answer is B&Q or your local hardware store. So this is bioethanol fuel, 95% uh, ethanol. You can also actually online just buy almost pure alcohol. Um, from, from medical suppliers and it comes in the post and they leave it on your doorstep. Um, so this is the fuel for these kind of stoves here. And if you then take your shellac flakes, and so this is the shellac here, so it's in this flake form. And what you do, this is about 50 grams here of, uh, it's not, it's about 30 grams of shellac and uh, what you would do is put that into your alcohol, ethanol, lid on and you can see it doesn't immediately dissolve, it sits here in the bottom of the container and so the recommendation is that you leave it for a day, turn it over like this, the next day you turn it over and leave it for a day like this. And uh, after about a week uh, it will have dissolved, it sort of goes soft and jelly-like. And after about a week uh, it looks like a sample you should take to the doctors. So that's a two litre bottle here and I've put 30 grams in that one. To be honest, that's possibly going to be a bit too weak, but you can experiment it with, with it, and of course you can add some, you can't take it out, so you could mix that up to start with, or mix a smaller quantity. So then, to apply it to the hat, I just use a spray bottle. Um, and this is a, this was an experimental hat I made. There's only there's two, in, two ounces of fibre here. Um, and I actually blocked this straight on the hat, so I did a layer of the brown fibre and a layer of the black on the top. And it's interesting to see how the black works through, um, and obviously demonstrates the felting process quite well. So to apply this, again, you, can add, you can't take it away, you can always add more, but it's just a matter of spraying the hat wherever you want it to be stiffened. Obviously you need to do this in a ventilated area and uh, you might want to wear gloves and take proper precautions. So you would then leave that to dry or put it on your on your block. You can if you want rub it in which is what I tend to do a little bit. Um, and then uh, you can do it on the inside as well especially if you say you wanted a very stiff crown and you wanted a bowler hat you spray plenty on the inside as well. So. We'll leave that to one side and 
Here's one I prepared earlier. So here's the black one. So the advantage of having done this, apart from the initial shape, is you can then, just using some steam, at any time in the future you can reactivate the shellac and then whatever shape you decide to put your brim in as soon as that cools down that's it that will stay there so I'm not suggesting that is the shape of the brim for this hat but it just means that's now stiff set and will stay there and shellac is what I suppose hair lacquer is still made of shellac but it certainly used to be um, same thing applies so whatever shape you decide you want your brim well, of course you could do this on the block if you steam it and there it is set and then if it gets misshapen after a few months if it starts to get a bit floppy you can always just pop your hat back on its block it's a ABS plastic block that I've got here because you can go on a wooden block you can give the hat a good steam all over and it rejuvenates it and we'll set back to that shape so quick steam and away you go so methylated spirits but that will smell of meths this is bioethanol from hardware store B&Q in this case Woodworking French polish de waxed shellac flakes. This is a less expensive supply. This came from resin supplies on eBay. And it'll last you a lifetime, really, that bag, I think. Um, give it a shake, spray bottle, um, and obviously do it in a ventilated space. Uh, I've done no research on uh, the health and safety aspects or what it actually does to your hat. Um, so take that under advisement and uh, if you want to research that before you spray it onto a £200 hat then do so. But uh, it's certainly what was used in the hat trade um, for hundreds of years and uh, probably still is. So I hope that helps. Enjoy.